हाय फ्रेंड माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि एंड यू आर वाचिंग ग्रुप पॉलिसी फ्रॉम जीरो टू हीरो आई थिंक इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव यू नो कवर दीज पॉइंट्स आई थिंक एंड मोस्टली आई गिव मोर इंपोर्टेंस ऑन ऑन यू नो ग्रुप पॉलिसी कंटेनर so the group policy container is most important part of the you know group policy make sure guys you have completely understand the group policy container before proceeding this video because until unless if you not understand the group policy container you cannot understand the gpt group policy template template so if you not understand clearly pause the video repeat again i mean watch again and try to understand completely group policy container okay so i hope you will do that and uh, yes this is very important from your uh, from your learning perspective so i hope you will learn okay so without any delay let's start from the group policy template what exactly the group policy template okay as i told you the group policy template is where the gpos is resides right okay uh, by the way you know if you compare compare you know uh, something like you know with active directory any other object let's take an example uh, think about you know active directory you know uh, represent some computer object right okay let me open this open this so you will more understand on that so uh, let me minimize this it's not required let me open the here active directory and uh, yeah right so if you work station i have the one server member server which i joined to this you know uh, active directory uh, domain right okay i don't know why it is getting late but my it should be okay if you see here this is the ind member one right uh, this is not a physical computer right if you see here i i created the computer here but this is just a logical component of component of the active directory right i mean uh, it's not a, a physical computer here right the similar the, i mean uh, and and it contains and this logical components object is contains all the attributes of this you know uh, object of this object means of this server of this server right i mean still i'm not power on this machine because i don't i just be we are in part of the uh, active directory no we are not still you know uh, jumping to members of a letter part i will on and i will tell you okay so here having some set of attributes right if you okay let me open this so i think it's opening so it having some set of uh, you know uh, attributes so which uh, act as a, you know physical but it's a logical components right in active directory so if you see here uh, attributes the set of attributes right is there correct so all the attributes are there according as per this attributes it just behave like you know uh, we can manage the computer object in from the active directory the similar way actually the portion of gpo and active directory merely represents some attributes relevant to the gpo content so similar way when we are creating some gpo for this you know machine b this is the gpo right so it is also having some attributes where it is having the attributes if you open this as i told you sys volume folder right where the gpos are contains right so it is also having some uh, attributes correct where it is if you go to the policy there is a G, you know take this policy and gpt this is the gpt actually this is a configuration setting which i am talking about this one group policy template right so this having some set of attributes which known as a group policy template this is known as a group policy that's it you just remember this part okay if you open this this is having the version right now it is version 12 correct so uh, and the display name in the group policy object everything is mentioned here correct so this is this is called a group policy template we having certain configuration setting for the gpt the way we have in a computer object some attribute same way so that's we called a gpt okay uh, i i will i will i want to you know um, we, we will you know know more about gpt on the later part but uh, i just wanted to some other thing here mentioned so that's what i uh, mark it is in uh, red highlighted so it will be clear to understand so let's me explain about this so as per the my past experience uh, you know so manager you know my manager and you know, asked you know uh, 
like just you know apply the group policy on the cross domain level so that is not possible actually it is if it uh, yeah it's a possible but it's not a recommended so we should say sir this is possible but not recommended it may create the problem because sometimes i saw you know people are the when manager asking something to do this the people oh yes sir i will try and look into it right that is not the perfect answer so those having the less knowledge on the group policy definitely they will give that kind of answer answer but if you have that if you have experience on this then definitely if you know these things what is the drawbacks and what is the importance and what should do and what should not do then definitely you will you know give the proper answer to your manager so let's take an example i just make you understand to putting on the draw actually uh, let me draw this let's take on we have a you now this domain and we have an other domain as well that is cross domain level i'm just talking about it and we have some objects correct we have some objects here and uh, we have some objects here okay in this domain right so let's read this uh, you know to understand clearly the only exception to this rule for cross domain I'm just talking about that. This is the exception for the cross domain, you know, level policy. But the GPO is defined in another domain. So this is the domain objects are there, but GPO is defined this domain. Okay, but it is linked in such a way that the client from the neighboring domain needs to apply them. So like in a site level GPO, right? You know, right? So this is the example I'm just giving here. Since the Active Directory site can, you know, span the multiple domains in this case, in the case of you know cross domain GPO. so the client will need a pull a content from the dc as i told earlier right the gp when the client will pull from the dc in the neighboring domain which can be very slow process for this reason cross domain gps are not generally recommended just tell me if i apply some group policy from here to here this is a cross domain and uh, this is located in mumbai this is located in um, us so us you know objects wanted to you know do something so this is the cross domain so uh, the gpo will you know pull from here right so definitely it will you know take time which is not recommended but it is possible that's what i wanted to uh, place this my experience here guys for your you know better mind and for understanding because i am not i am just making not not this video to earning the money but i am just making this video to clear and understanding you know uh, the content which i you know uh, placed it here okay so uh, i hope you understand this okay now this part is done let's you know understand the uh, group policy template and the more so as you, as you know that so group policy is located in the active directory right so where it is located okay template is resides in the active directory right if you go here this volume folder right it is a by default share folder where it is located if you open this it is there right if you go to the policy there are three policies which i have if you open there are three policies right default domain control policy default domain policy and event log size so this is mine actually event log size so the policy settings will be there in gpt also there right so machine represents machine level policy user represents user level policy and gpt rep represents the group policy template which i explain the settings you know of the group policy will be stored in this uh in this uh, configuration file this is ini file not inf remember this is ini file and make sure that when you open this accidentally also do not save as a notepad if you save it the gpo will not work okay so now now what the next part okay so let's you know edit this group policy okay go to the policies administrative template sorry window setting security setting even lock right so these are you know settings i have changed for the my client machines which i applied so i mean i just changed the application lock size should be this security lock size should be the system lock size should be this okay so uh so this is what you know group policy you know management editor so accordingly you can you know edit whatever you want so as per your the policy correct so this is just the introduction of the group policy management editor now as i told you group policy template having certain settings right and i i already showed you right okay so <laughs> but 
do you think this setting will be enough for the group policy when the client pull this information this setting will be enough to apply the group policy no exactly so i just wanted to uh, deep and more actually i just want to you know uh, explain you more about the gpt so in the machine level we have applied right open the machine folder here go to the microsoft and the windows nt and the sec edit okay before going into this folder let's understand what the sec edit it's security level information are setting in the security so the actual setting of you know settings we have configured on the gpu like an you know, application logs system logs um, security logs we have configured right some sizes we've given right the actual settings we need to expand the machine folder i mean uh, the settings resides here actually in security edit setting security edit folder is nothing but it contains a security specification setting actually what remember this word security specification setting of the gpu okay so um, the file with the you know i mean if you open this security the file it's a gpt template inf it's not ina like gpt it's a gpt tmpl it is just inf INF file, not INI file, but GPT was INI file. Okay, so this file contains the specific information that you know client needs. Just open it. Okay, so this file contains on the specific information which client needs to you know configure settings because we have configured right GPU and every lock as the maximum size of this you know kind of logs application security and the system so these all things are there right so client will you know get you know pull everything from here these are the settings which are there so it will everything not only the version right so this also very important you should be remember what uh, you know security folder and GPT TM PL INF files okay um, and I, I mean this this you know we can see that you know everything is there on the GPT TMPL INF file and it is clear instruct for our client machines to set the application security and system logs their maximum size what we have provided correct you got my point okay now I just wanted to more things tell you about this setting as well okay so now as of now you understand GPT template GPT everything right so I just you know explore uh, new new things which will definitely will help you in a later time okay so this is the policy right there is some folders are the Microsoft script you know there are two folders there as for my is as I didn't configure anything I just configure one event log size but it depends in, upon your policy when you organize you have the thousands of police right so you probably see that the lot of folders will be created here let's take an example this is the event log size so it is there but if you created some you know uh, a res edit kind of thing you are editing some uh, registry value or key something you are adding on your membership at that time so it will create one folder called the res pol so this folder contain the res edit information policies so this is a different folder will create okay let's take an example you are disabling some you know administrative share level policies right we have administrative administrative share like admin dollar c dollar d dollar e dollar f dollar all drives dollar printer dollar so these are the admin share dollar right so you want to disable or something change so if, if you have created some policy that will create the admin admin folder the folder name will be admin folder okay and you are deploying some application the application folder will be created it depends upon how the how you know uh, what policies you are creating accordingly so it will uh, create the folder okay so this is I think enough to understand the GPT I think I placed uh, you know my past experience everything in this video so I hope guys you will like this video and uh, subscribe my channel but uh, I will show you on the next part next portion of this video which is part two on this session so we will look at the details of the GPU processing the emphasis on the client size side ex extension which I you know mention here client side extension that I will explain uh, these are the very interesting point and you know um, very important point to understand the client side troubleshooting all these things because as of now I just I just you know log in the DC only right I'm not logging into the client machine as of now right we will log in and see how the troubleshoot everything we will do so thanks for watching this video do not you know I mean I mean don't forget to subscribe my channel and I mean it will encourage to you know making more video for you guys so thank you very much for showing interest in watching this video